I mean, there's nothing that's going to be justified to bring my son back, but something's got to be done. A father pleading for help tonight after his son is shot in a separate road rage attack. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. And I'm Doug Dunbar. The shooting we talk about happened on I 20 in Arlington while the teenager was driving with his girlfriend. Tonight, police, as we share the story, are still trying to find the gunman. Our Dan Haggerty talked with the teenager's heartbroken family, and he is live tonight near Matlock Road. Yeah, and the truck that teenager, teenager was driving left I 20 into this field against that tree and into that sign. After an argument, police say was over merging. 19 year old Dylan Spade. The middle finger. The other car returned with gunfire. These are the kinds of videos on Dylan Spade's timeline. A 19 year old with a new girlfriend and a new job with his dad. Uh, he had just gotten off work. He went and picked her up, and they were coming over here. Sean Spade has been without his son for less than 24 hours. When we asked for a picture of Dylan, this is the one he sent me. Right now, I just can't. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. We covered the crash as breaking news on Sunday when Dylan crashed his work trunk off of I-20. Police saying another driver shot him after an argument over merging. His girlfriend, Christina Huggins, grabbing the wheel at high speeds. Got a call from my brother, Ryan. Said he went over to the scene of the accident. And he just kept crying, saying Dylan's dead. His brother Jeremy got into town last night and hasn't slept, said no one has, including Dylan's girlfriend Christina, who sent him this text from the hospital. I tried to save him by putting her shirt over his head, stopped the bleeding, steering the truck off the highway. Yeah, she tried to, but you know. Grief stricken and lost. The family can only look to the investigation and police for the only glimmer they have left an arrest and justice. Um, there's nothing that's going to be justified to bring my son back, but something's got to be done. Police looking right now for a black Mercedes or BMW with silver rims and dark tinted windows. The shooting happened around 6 p.m. on this stretch of road. That's a pretty busy time. They're hoping that some more witnesses can step forward and help them track this person or people down. Uh, the girlfriend, Christina, uh, did suffer some serious injuries from the crash, not the shooting. She is now recovering at home. We're going to continue to stay up to date with police, of course, for the latest on this investigation. Reporting live, Dan Haggerty, CBS 11 News.